So, welcome on board of Cora 48. Now I am going to show you the outside of the boat. We arrive on the transom, what do I find? I found a ladder, the swimming ladder, to go to the pool. It's a ladder which has been designed for me. You understand that it is strong and it takes the weight and very comfortable. Then, here we are having the transom arch, which is the ideal place you will put your fenders and your mooring line while you are cruising. Then, we are having a security gate to make sure that people stay inside the boat and not outside the boat. To open it, I open it like that. Other feature, very important, the shower. When you come out of the boat, after swimming, you shower, you keep the, uh, the wet area over there, and once dry, you come inside. Please do join me. I would like to show you the engine room. Let me show you something special about our engine room. Uh, so here we are having the famous military tire engine which is very favorized by the European market because it's a nice powerful engine with a very low consumption. However, for the American market, we set the Cummins 370, uh, 350 horsepower or we have been also uh, setting the Volvo Penta IPS 650 for the one who really wants to go fast. So due to the volume of the engine room, we, are, we have the flexibility to put whatever people like, but Steyr, Cummins, or Volvo Penta IPS. Here we are at haft. So what do we see? A high ceiling, lot of space, comfortable, a table which you can, with a middle access, I can fit the table like this and it make a big dining table or for afternoon tea or convenience we can pass here. Again, we are having the laundry washing machine which is extremely important when we go cruising because we perspire and we need to, be, to keep clean. We are having here the access to the flybridge, we will talk about it later on, but I have made the angle of the staircase quite mild for person like me or my mother which is 90 can access to the flybridge with less effort. One, thing, one facility that we also have on this boat it is the sinking platform at the entrance. The sinking platform is ideal for the tender but not only for the tender also for people wishing to go to the sea. And I'm thinking again about my mother. I set my mother here and I bring her down to the, to the sea for her to swim and I lift her back. Very convenient. Here we are. So now I am going to take you all around the boat. Follow me. Here we are reaching the deck. You will appreciate the non-slippery deck which is very, very convenient and very pleasant under the feet. Also, the handle made is a fantastic Taiwanese stainless steel, 316L. The L is very important. It's low carbon. It gives you a fantastic finish shiny. The handle is a bit higher and a bit thicker than according to the standard because we want you to feel safe when you grab it and walk around the deck. We remind you, you should always hold with one hand the handrail whenever you walk on the deck. I bring your attention on the hatches. Some people are asking us, why don't you have flush hatches? Experience has shown us that with flush hatches, we often have a problem of having the water getting stuck inside and then it's flood. The drainage of the water gets stuck and then it's damaged the cabin underneath. So by experience now, we go for very low 
profile hatches to keep it safe and watertight. Here on my right side, starboard side if we want to use the maritime world, we are having sun deck, sun launch, and at bow we see two love seats, one on starboard, one on port side. These love seats are extremely comfortable, very pleasant. You can sit two person on it. You can remotely cruise your boat from here with your remote control automatic pilot navigation system. And when you feel here, just cruising, you will feel like Leonardo DiCaprio on Titanic cruising uh, an open sea. It's a wonderful feeling. Plenty hatches. We have the anchor hatch and we have storage hatch on each side. Here I am showing you one of the bow hatches. They are very deep, nearly two meters deep. We have a ladder to access them, but you can store a lot of equipment also when you go for a long cruise. Then I would like to bring your attention that all our sensitive intake, such as water or fuel, are lockable. These for extra safety. You never know who is your neighbor when you leave your boat in the marina. We also have protection for cleats, for the ropes in stainless steel, to make sure that your ropes does not damage your gel coat. Here, a new feature on our boat. We have this window, which you open from the saloon. When you cruise, it can bring you fresh breathe inside. And if you open the window and the, front and the, the entrance door, you have a very nice draft of air flowing through the boat while you are cruising and you don't need any air condition. So here we are back at aft. Before climbing to the flybridge, I would like to stress you the fact of this wing we have been adding. By this wing, we are now covering completely the aft section from the sun or from the rain. Also, we can add on the top of it extra solar panel should we need it for something special. Okay? The floor here is covered with flexitic, which is a synthetic imitation from the tick. But the good side of this flexitic, it is never as hot as many other brands and much less expensive than the real tick. Here is the staircase. I have mentioned before, we have made a soft angle to allow people with some knee problem, back problem or elderly to be able to access the flybridge without a problem. I would like to take the opportunity now to show you how you climb to a flybridge and how you go down to a ladder from a flybridge to avoid any accident. Always hold your two hands, even if you think you are fit. And when you go down, always go backward. Never try to go first like this. That it is just to have accident. And we have seen so many of those. Okay? So, Let's go to the flybridge. So, here I am reaching the flybridge with this door, which is keeping my half section dry in case of rain. And please, when you arrived here, what do you see? You are amazed by the space. So much volume, so much space. Look at the space we are having on a Cora 48, which is often much more than you will find on flybridge of catamaran up to 50 to 52 feet size. We are having again a high ceiling, a very comfortable seating arrangement. We find the same concept of the table, which you can close in the center and open. You have a galley, 
downstairs, Caroline is going to talk to you about a kitchen. I am talking to you about a galley. We have a fridge. We have plenty space, uh, storage space. We are having here an electrical barbecue. We are having here a concealed sink. When you do hot water, cold water, everything, when you don't need it, you close it and it, you extend your bar superficie. Then we have a comfortable seating arrangement. Above us, we are having the solar panel display. I will not tell you the brand, but I can tell you they are absolutely outstanding. We have special access to research panel, solar panel, which give us a huge power. The access for maintenance is over here to go up and we can clean them. Very important solar panel should be clean every month, if not more often. And if needed, we can increase our volume of solar panel to the request of the client. All depend what the client wish to do with that. But the solar panel idea came to me when I was owning a Swan 65 sailing racing boat. I was in the most wonderful place around the world for the regatta, Antigua regatta, St. Lucia. And the problem, we were in Paradise Island but we needed to have a generator running 24 hours a day to make cold, as we said, to do the, the cold. To do, and that I could not stand anymore. It was vibrating, it was smelling, and I always thought one day I have to find another solution than the generator. It's why in 2008, when I could see that solar technology was getting really much more advanced, I talked to my wife and we said, listen, Let's develop something for the yachting industry. Let's develop something for the leisure industry. And it took us one and a half years of development. But my team and I been able to do the first luxury solar assisted yacht, which was Heliotrop 65. And we have been able to replace completely or almost completely the need of a generator by solar power. Now, air condition has improved a lot, battery has improved a lot 15 years later. And what was a dream still when we started now is reality. And it is something we've mastered. It's why we are building so many of the solar assisted yachts.